Hello and welcome to Insight of Thermology. This is Dr. Amrit welcoming you to another continuation lecture on ROP that is retinopathy of prematurity. Today we are studying the stages of ROP. ROP basically has five stages and these stages are based on the features that is seen between the junction of vascularized retina and the avascular retina. So the stage one is the presence of demarcation line. Stage two is a presence of ridge. Stage three is when the new vessel starts developing onto the ridge and this is called severe extra retinal fibrovascular proliferation. Stage four is detached retina. However, what did I tell you that there are five stages. So in stage four, the retina is partially detached and in stage five, there will be a complete retinal detachment. Now let us understand each stages individually. So what is stage zero? In stage zero, we have a premature infant in which we know that the retina is not completely vascularized. However, we do not see any typical changes at the junction between the vascular and avascular retina to classify it as into stage 1, stage 2, stage 3 or stage 4. So that is called stage 0 ROP. Coming to what is stage 1 ROP? In stage 1 ROP, we see a demarcation line which is usually white, flat, thin line at the plane in the plane of the retina which will separate the avascular retina anteriorly and the posterior vascularized retina. So remember, stage 1 is the presence of a thin, flat demarcation line in the plane of retina. What is stage 2 ROP? In stage 2 ROP, what is typical is the presence of a ridge at the junction of the vascular and avascular retina. So the difference between the ridge and the demarcation line is that the demarcation line was a thin flat line in the plane of the retina. Whereas as the demarcation line increases, it acquires a width and also a height and then it grows above the plane of retina to form what is called a ridge. Okay. Now, sometimes the vessels can actually grow towards the ridge and we can also have these new vessels growing towards the ridge. But what is important here is that they will never grow towards the vitreous. They will just be limited up to the ridge. So that is very important when we talk about stage 2 ROP. Now, let us try to look at some real life pictures. So in the first picture, you can see we have this thin flat line over here. So this is actually a demarcation line. OK, and you can see this is the avascular retina. You cannot see any vessels over there. And this is the vascularized posterior retina. So this is stage one ROP where we see only a demarcation line. Now here in the second picture, you can see again, we have a line which is extending like a notch near the zone 1 so this will be what this will be zone 1 ROP secondary to notch but what stage is this this is stage 1 again because we are seeing a demarcation line what about this third picture here in third picture if you see carefully the line is not as uh, th uh, thin as seen in stage 1 and stage 2 so this seems to have certain sort of height as well okay so this is stage 2 ROP and this is actually a ridge similarly the fourth picture also you can see this is a raised kind of a line so this is basically stage 2 ROP presence of ridge however you can see these small uh, condensations here so these are called the popcorn lesions and these are also seen in stage 2 Okay, so what are these popcorn lesions? To be more specific, they are small isolated tufts of new vascular tissue which is lying on the surface of the retina. So that is important. They have not uh, started to grow towards the vitreous. They are lying on the surface of the retina and they are called popcorn lesions because they look like popcorns and they are seen in stage 2 right for them to be called as stage 3 ROP they have to start growing towards the vitreous so in stage 2 they are still in the plane of retina slightly they are above to the stage 1 but still they are not growing towards the vitreous yet now let us talk about the stage 3. Stage 3 is called the stage of 
extra retinal fibrovascular proliferation so as the name suggests it is extra retinal that means this fibrovascular growth which is occurring okay the new vessels they also have fibrous component with them so that is called fibrovascular proliferation this will now start growing towards the vitreous okay so if this is the eye this was the plane of the retina now they have started to grow towards the vitreous as well and therefore this is called stage 3 of rop now you might ask that sometimes what if we see new vessels growing towards the vitreous but they are not growing on to the ridge okay that means new vessels which are present away from the ridge then in such condition is it stage 3 the answer is yes and actually speaking in some condition you might not find any ridge or demarcation line also but all you're going to see there is presence of flat appearing but still extra retinal new vessels in the zone 1 and in the posterior zone 2 in such condition also the stage will be stage 3 now let us try to understand stage 3 with some examples in the first picture you can see that we have a ridge but we have also these vessels you know which are finely branching and now they're growing towards the uh what do you say the ridge and you can see they are also extending towards the vitreous right so this is severe extra retinal fibrovascular proliferation that means what we are looking at is stage 3 rop the same thing you can see here as well the, there is a ridge and the ridge has actually you know changed its color from white to pinkish because it shows that the vessels have actually grown over the ridge and now they are growing even towards the vitreous anteriorly so this is stage 3 rop Similarly, here in this picture, you can see these new vessels, right? And they seem to be growing towards the vitreous, so that is stage 3. Again, here you can see this thickened ridge with some pinkish discoloration showing that vessels have started to grow on top of it and not just on top of it, they are growing towards the vitreous. So this picture is a composite picture. You can see here that here we have a white color ridge with no vessels on top of it. But here we have a more thickened pinkish color ridge with extra retinal proliferation. And in this side we can see some condensations okay, which are the popcorn lesions. So if you see only half of this picture you will think that the patient actually has stage 2 disease. But on complete examination you will find this part of the retina which has extra retinal proliferative uh, lesions on the ridge and therefore this will become now stage 3 ROP coming to stage 4 ROP in stage 4 ROP we have partial or incomplete retinal detachment this is again further divided into stage 4a and stage 4b stage 4a is incomplete retinal detachment but it is extra foveal that means the retinal detachment has not involved the foveal region. Stage 4b is particularly the foveal partial retinal detachment. That means the retinal detachment has involved the foveal region. So this picture over here, you can see that the entire retina over here is detached. But the macular region seems to be attached. So this is stage 4a ROP with the macula on. Now have a look at this picture. In this picture, this is the disc, okay? And you can see the color change here. So this part seems to be detached. We know that the macula is going to be somewhere here. So the detachment is incomplete because this part of the retina is still attached. However, the macula is involved in the retinal detachment and therefore this is stage 4B, macular of ROP. Coming to the stage 5, in stage 5 we have a complete retinal detachment or total retinal detachment. Now previously stage 5 ROP was classified into 5A and 5B. 5A was called an open funnel RD and 5B was called a closed funnel RD. Now in this stage 4 of the ROP you can see in the first picture what we have is a open funnel RD, right? So this part of the funnel is slightly open, although the retina is totally detached from the underlying retinal pigment epithelium. Now this is a stage 5B ROP. As you can see that the retina is totally contracted and the funnel is totally closed, okay? So this is called a closed funnel configuration of the retinal detachment. The partially closed retinal detachment or the funnel uh, retinal detachment can further be classified as 
partially open from behind that is called posteriorly open and anteriorly closed or it can be anteriorly opened and posteriorly closed. But what is important is the third edition of the ICROP. According to the ICROP third edition, stage 5A is when the optic disc is clearly visible. Stage 5B is when the optic disc is not visible. That could be because of retrolentral fibrovascular tissue or a closed funnel detachment. Stage 5C is when the findings of stage 5P are present and along with that we have some anterior segment abnormalities. Now this could be the anterior lens displacement or you could have a shallowing of the anterior chamber or sometimes we can have adhesions between the lens capsule and the iris or the capsule might be adhered to the endothelium of the cornea leading to corneal opacification. So all this suggests that there might be a closed funnel configuration behind. So that is the stage 5C according to the ICROP 3rd edition. The idea here is that whenever there is a posterior segment pathology like a closed funnel RD, the posterior ROP is going to push the anterior structures forward and leads to these anterior segment problems. Whether it is a displacement of the lens and that displacement causing an anterior chamber shallowing and then finally the iris developing adhesions with the capsule and even the capsule going up to the cornea causing an corneal opacification. So I hope that is clear. So that's all for the staging. Thank you and have a nice day. In the next video, we shall talk about the vessel changes in ROP.